what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to build a a pit flight lap timer I'm gonna use a Wi-Fi module this one that's a DT06 I'm gonna use a NRX5808 receiver module uh, random pieces of wire got here a 5 volt buzzer some 1k resistors and I got this Arduino Nano and I got this Arduino Nano board so I'm gonna try to follow the instructions and build one of these things alright first thing I'm gonna do is on my Arduino board I'm gonna solder 5 volts in ground wires I got 3 and the connector because these will feed the Arduino, the receiver and the wireless connector so I need 3 wires for each of these so I'm gonna solder red one to the 5 volts Black one to the ground. Right now I got voltage connected. So these two with the connectors are gonna go to feed here. The wireless transmitter and these other two are gonna connect to the module ground and 5 volt pads so I'm simply gonna pre-tin the pads on the receiver ground and 5 volts Okay, now I'm going to wire five volts to five volts and uh, ground to ground.
each channel of the receiver I'm going to place a 1k resistor channel 1, channel 2 and channel 3 in be between the wire I'm going to have this 1k resistor, resistor on each one that's what they tell you to do These are all 1K resistors that I have. I have pulled these out from old boards. Alright, it's hard to do the things on camera but I got a resistor on each channel. Right now, so now from resistor on channel 3, I'm gonna connect a wire to the Arduino D12 pin. So I'm gonna put in this. channel 3 it's gonna go to 
D12 on the Arduino. Actually, I'm going to put it in D12, D11, and D10, which are the places where I'm going to have to. Solder these wires. So this one is gonna go to D12. Put another little bit. From channel 2 to D11. And I'm gonna put another one from channel 1 to D10. So now I'm going to connect another wire from A6 Arduino pin to RSSI on the video receiver. And that's the last wire for the... 
for the receiver connections. The receiver connections connections are done. Two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Five volts goes to five volts. Ground goes to ground. Three channels and RSSI. Um. No, I only have to. to connect now I only have to connect RX1 and TX1 on this wire for the for the wireless module Which are the ground RST reset? Yep, TX1, which is the same as D1 and RX1. Okay, TX and RX, two, three, four, five, six, two. Two, a three, a four. Yeah, I guess these two are the correct pins. So I gotta connect these wires here. Now I got everything plugged, I need to connect the buzzer. The buzzer is gonna go positive on 5 volts. Positive of the buzzer is gonna go along with 5 volts. And negative of the buzzer is gonna go to D6. D6. That's a buzzer. Okay. Right, now all connections are supposed to be done. Okay, so now it's time to flash the firmware to this. It's hard to do things on camera. I'm simply gonna plug the Arduino via my USB cable to my computer. You heard the beep, it's flashing. Now I'm gonna come here. I got this 
Xloader software that I just downloaded from the website here bitflight.com and what I'm gonna do is exactly what they say here I'm gonna go here I've already selected the firmware that I have on my computer that I downloaded I've selected the device to be what they say do a do a Milanov nanowatt mega 328 I'm gonna select the COM port which is 19 I got the baud rate uh, 57600 that's what they say and I'm gonna select upload to flash the firmware to my Arduino and now it says uploading and the thing is blinking I've decided to put an experimental version which is 2.7 because I wanna try and, and work with two pilots on one device with a virtual lap timer so it says it's uploading this might take a while and to upload it I have the Wi-Fi module disconnected you cannot connect the Wi-Fi mod module to upload these wires look a mess but if you look at this diagram that's the connection I made they got it on the site it's still uploading it might take a while alright so this is two days after I went to program the thing with Xloader with AVR do everything I simply couldn't I spent two days trying to flash this board with Arduino with everything I've tried to flash the bootloader everything I used a different Arduino Uno I've used that one to make a programmer and all kinds of stuff and I couldn't manage to flash the damn bootloader to this thing I've ordered a new one on the mail it will take probably a month to be here because it comes from China and when I was about to break this one in half and throw it to the garbage I remembered that I have lots of programmers USB USP and that kind of stuff and sometimes sometimes I'm really dumb I was like I'm gonna flash the chip the chip the Atmega 328 directly and the thing is that this is the 328 PB and it flashed right away with this and right now if I plug it I'm gonna plug it it's plugged it is on COM port 13 and I connect and boom I got it working shit this took me two days okay so I got here the thing I'm gonna try to assemble it I have this little box I put an XT60 a switch this dip switch is to connect and disconnect the Wi-Fi module because with the Wi-Fi module always uh, plugged to the board you cannot use it through USB so this way I'll be able to choose if I want to use it through USB or wirelessly uh, I got here the thing the receiver I'm gonna solder everything together in place and see if it works Okay, so I got everything in the box. Now I know this is this looks like a mess, but I got power coming in on the on this 
X, XT60 connector right now it's on USB but I got the power switch as well I got the switch here for my wireless receiver I got the voltage regulator and I got the Arduino right now this is on so it won't plug to the computer but if I turn if I disconnect TX and RX on the on the Wi-Fi module now I can connect it to the computer and it should and it did thankfully it did work it is let me show you it is connected right now okay oh zoom out it is connected to pit flight see this is a closer look as I said I got the power the switch it's a mess but I'm gonna print the cover and this is gonna stay here inside attached to the cover more or less like this and it's gonna stay all closed in this little box Okay. okay so I got the thing pretty much done all I did was I've 3d printed this part to put on top the receiver is there I can open it if I want this comes out easily I got it plugged to the computer there I got my drone here so let's start a race and test it it's calibrated already three two one okay so now as you can see the drone is close to it I'm gonna take it away comes back delete lap 1 11.260 seconds okay so now I got it here so let's say my drone delete lap 2 is away it doesn't seconds. detect it comes close goes for a lap around delete. Lap 3, 47.364 seconds. It goes for another lap around. Delete. Lap 4, 8.677 seconds. Fine. Delete. Lap 5, 8.1 seconds. I got it calibrated so that it, it works very close. Delete. Lap 6, 8.123 seconds. Goes a bit further Delete. away. Lap 7, 8.136 seconds. Another 3 laps. Delete. Lap 8, 10.749 seconds. Delete. Lap 9, 8.1 seconds. Didn't notice this one. Delete, lap 10, okay. 13.166 seconds. It's working more or less as it should. It records my laps. It records, uh, not the laps at times. Laps is not, oh it is, it recorded the laps. See? How oh, cool. And I got, this is, I got two. One of these are virtual just using one for now not sure but that's pretty much how it goes maybe real test it in flying <laughs>